Item number SCP-705 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-705 requires little security detail nor significant clearance to access, and is to be held in Sector 2 Safe SCP Containment with the lid closed. Any access is to be logged when entering and exiting SCP-705's containment, to be reviewed once a month. Misplacement or lack of attendance leading to containment failure is punishable by temporary removal access. Repeat offenses incur more severe probations. SCP-705 is not to be used in any practical applications. SCP-705's Description SCP-705 is normally contained within a 5-ounce container of children's modeling compound, commonly known as Play-Doh. While properly sealed, SCP-705 exhibits no unusual qualities or anomalous behavior. SCP-705 was originally discovered in the Corporation's research labs in as part of an attempt to create a self-molding product. The means by which this was accomplished is still unknown, but the results led to the abandonment of the line and the labs themselves. Retrieved on SCP-705 was originally moved to Site, then relocated a month later to its current location at Site-17. When the lid for the container holding SCP-705 is opened, the soft red material inside will begin to animate. Shapes resembling small humanoid forms will emerge from the clay, slowly at first but soon numbering in the tens to hundreds. The material comprising the men will sculpt and come into the detail, and appear as miniature infantrymen in typical military fatigues equipped with fully functional automatic weaponry. At this point, SCP-705 compromises approximately 20 to 100 individual and sentient organisms. When active, SCP-705 is incredibly violent and militaristic, possessing a highly territorial mindset, and will do everything in their power to overtake what they perceive to be a strategic location. Within observed environments, this will be perceived to be a lab workstation, a break room coffee machine, or a bathroom sink. Due to the weak composition of each SCP-705 organism, none of these threats can be considered significant and can be diffused with any application of force. Unconstrained, SCP-705 is no more than a minor annoyance, although not for lack of trying. SCP-705 has been observed to be capable of sentient thought, and audio recordings have revealed that they possess understanding of the English language. Over time, the group that compromised SCP-705 will become more complex, with obvious leadership roles emerging. On several occasions, an extended test of SCP-705 has shown the formation of a larger, more complex structure formed from the collective mass, such as tanks, APCs, and even aircraft such as helicopters and bombers. It's to be noted that none of these creations are any more effective due to the use of harmless clay ammunition. If SCP-705 comes into contact with a similar compound, such as a normal container of Play-Doh, the contacted material will take on the same qualities as active SCP-705. When of the same color, no differences in behavior are noted, although larger and more complex objects will be observed. If the effect of substances is of a different color, however, an entirely new army is created. If left undisturbed, the original SCP-705 organisms and the new opposing army will engage in combat. Multiple colors can be activated in this manner, and alliances will form between the aggressing parties. Said materials will remain active until SCP-705 is once again contained. SCP-705 is fully capable of sustaining casualties amongst themselves in these conflicts, although such losses are mitigated by its amorphous nature. Addendum 705-D The first known quote-unquote attack by SCP-705 occurred on when the container had been left unattended on a counter within the break room. In less than an hour, SCP-705 had taken control of the Mr. Coffee machine, declaring independence and control over the region. The assault was routed when Dr. Wright brushed him away from the burner, resulting in massive casualties and a complete rout. Interviews with SCP-705 remark on this day with great fear and resentment. Addendum 705-F After gaining approval from O5-6, SCP-705 was introduced to SCP-963. At this point, 705 sought out the current holder of 963. When contact was made, the soldiers making up 705 saluted Dr. Bright and stood at ease awaiting orders. So let's save this for when we really need it.